If you're trying to find out how to unlock lions in New World, then you came to the right place. In this video, I'm going to be sharing a step-by-step -step guide on what exactly you have to do to unlock your lion to become your main mount in New World. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So first things first, before you actually unlock this lion mount, you will have to do a few things. One of them is unlocking your wolf mount. If you guys don't already have that, check out the video in the top right corner. That gives you yet another step-by-step -step guide on what you have to do to unlock this wolf. It's really not that hard, and it's pretty straightforward. But essentially, unlocking your lion is just like how you unlock your wolf, where you're going to be given a handful of different races that you'll have to complete. Once you complete it, you turn it into the NPC to finish the quest, and then you're good to go. So as you can see, you know, I have my mount. I'm finishing the first set of four races and I'm going to go ahead and turn them in. Now, this is where things start to get a little interesting because, yes, you still have to do more races. However, these races are going to be a lot more difficult. So we're going to go ahead and jump over to Brimstone, complete this quest and say, yes, I am up to the challenge. And honestly, it kind of is like a challenge. We can see that we now have five new horse races, and these are going to be a little bit more difficult. I'm not saying they're impossible by any means. It just takes some time. For example, you're going to have a race that goes all the way from Brimstone Sands all the way to Reekwater, which honestly is intense, right? You have 20 minutes to complete this, and it's completely across a turnum. It's not too difficult. Just follow the primary paths. There's a few shortcuts here and there, but if you find that you're struggling to complete this, I highly recommend you just level up your riding skill a little bit so you get more of a speed boost. But it, yeah, I mean, primarily stick with the uh, main routes here. You're a little bit faster on the main paths rather than just kind of going rogue. So follow the paths and this will not be an issue. Do this for each of the races and then you'll be ready to complete the quest and move on to the next stage. So now we're going to go ahead and complete and turn in this quest where then we will be prompted to start another quest line that's in the new Elysian Wilds territory. So we're going to go ahead and accept this. They mention, you know, they have a, a few soft mentions of lions, which is great. We know we're getting closer. We're going to go ahead and move right on over to the new NPC. First, I'll kill that goat because, hey, why not? Um, and as you can see, you know, we're in the new Elysian Wilds area in the northeastern area where we actually have a lion NPC. We're going to go ahead and chat with him. And essentially, we're going to have to set free a lion that is captured in a cage. And we can see the rewards are right there. We are very, very close at this point. All we really have to do is just walk over to one area, click E, and then we're good to go. Once you get to these, uh, this area, it's going to essentially prompt you to follow this different path that just brings you up a mountain. Nothing too crazy. Just follow the little indicators, and then you'll be good to go. Then you'll be able to go ahead and cross this bridge. And on the other side of this bridge which is kind of like this floating island slash mountain type structure. You're going to come across a cage right away, right where all these people are. We're going to go right over there, click E to unlock the cage, and really not hard at all. Voila, we're ready to go. He's running free, and we can go ahead and move forward and go and complete that quest. So we go back to our buddy. He's got another buddy over to the side. We're going to talk to him, and then we're ready to finally complete the quest. So we're going to go ahead and we see we get some nice writing XP and we get to unlock the lion mount. We complete that and then there you go. Again, this whole quest line is not difficult at all. It, it just takes some time, honestly. We're going to go ahead and just equip the lion now, jump over to our mount inventory and check it out. There we go. We're going to equip him. And let's see how cool this looks. There we go. Looking pretty cool. Again, this is the default skin. If you guys want to get a little bit more extra or a little spicy, you can go ahead and just check out the skins on the store and buy them. It's pretty cool because we see a lot of them that are out there already today. But yeah, there you go. You guys now have your lion mount unlocked in New World.